Hello, my name is Fotis. I'm uh, the head chef of uh, California Republic, which is in the Amoy Street uh, 88. I'm uh, coming from Greece. Actually, I born in Albania. All my, my whole life, my half whole life, it's in Greece. After uh, 2015, uh, I moved in Singapore, start my, uh, my career here. We want to bring this project up here. It's like, a, you know, trying to bring like a, the summer of California here in Singapore. Hi guys, good morning. Welcome to California. So the first things which I'm doing in the morning always is to drink my coffee so I can start my day more, uh, more easy. Cheers. Going through the first things which doing is again to check uh, everything, uh, the details. After uh, 10 or 10 o'clock, I will go inside in the kitchen, check all the station, like uh, all the prep, it's correctly done, all the, the quality of the food, it's, it's on point. Here we have our uh, daily pizza, which is uh, pre-fermented overnight in the chiller. So the first things which we are doing in the morning, we take it out, we open it and we leave it outside for three hours until 12 o'clock and later we're gonna bake it, so it's, it's puff. So this style of pizza is the Sicilian pizza, which is it's very bready. I have uh, ready preheat the oven there. After I have uh, opened my pizza, I will leave it on top of the oven so it can, uh, can proof. We leave it on top here. 10 minutes before the lunch start, we pre-bake it, and later we put all the filling on top, and we bake it again. The first recipe we're gonna make for today, it's uh, our daily soup. Take some of the corn which we already pre-cut yesterday. So our soup is going based on the how many packs we have for uh, lunch. Good on you. Lionel here is one of my uh, suppliers. He brings our uh, black truffle. Yeah. So now I'm gonna put the truffle in the, in the rice so we can keep it fresh and can keep the aroma inside and it's not drying. Californian and Italian is about people who move, move from Italy to US, finding ingredients in uh, what ingredients they can use in the California, like uh, local ingredients, but with the Italian base. Creative dishes, but simple. This is our uh, cauliflower steak. Again, this we prepared before the lunch to start. We put in the pizza oven. So lunch is getting closer. I top up all my uh, all my condiments here so I can be ready. I don't want to make it like a powder. I want a chunk of the nuts. Wait, what you are doing? Milanese. Nice pork ribeye. It's it's one of the best quality of the pork which you can find currently in Singapore. Wei has one of the most difficult uh, position on the prep. If you want to understand if the oyster is fresh, always when you're gonna smell, it's coming, the, the first thing which is coming in your nose is the, the sweetness of the oysters. If this doesn't come uh, directly in your nose, the sweetness first, something is uh, wrong with the oysters. With this dish, we must be very careful because it's, it's very easy to dry. So we put again inside. My team is really creative, it's really passionate you know, about what they are doing. Very talented guys. Actually, today we're gonna change a bit the menu. The supplier is delayed, so my Brussels sprout is not ready. So I cannot, I cannot really wait for my supplier what time to come. So there we're gonna be delayed with the pizza. But we have the opportunity to put something different. You know, one of the bigger in soup for many people in the kitchen, it's uh, the routine, which like a, every day doing the same things. For us, for us, I believe, I believe and my guys enjoy it, but me 100% I enjoy it. We can come up with ideas about the pastas, like uh, what feelings we can do it or what type of shape we can do it. It's like, it's really amazing. This is California actually. <laughs> Thank you. 
we put for eight minutes. Okay, now it's uh, ready 12 o'clock. The start, uh, the lunch is ready to start. So we're doing our uh, final prep until the people uh, start ordering. So later we don't have more uh, time to prep and we focus only on service. One ceviche, two shigoku oyster, one arancini. Main course, bucatini, broccolini. This is our char broccolini. It's for main course. I just marinate. In order, one calamari, one chickpea mushroom. So now we have one uh, grilled meatball. One meatball and one uh, grilled calamari. So what we are doing, we grill the bread. This is baby squid. It's a Patagonian one. It's marinated with thyme, garlic, and uh, chili flakes. The guests coming here, the first experience we, we try to give to them is like coming to my house. Classic food which you're gonna find in every house. One of our motto is like a so bright, so fresh, so cal. This, this is our, our mentality and our concept here in California. So now it's 3 p.m. We just finished uh, our uh, busy lunch service and we're going to the market to, to buy some uh, local produce. 165. Hello, Uncle, do you have a uh, young jackfruit? Oh, yeah, jackfruit, yeah. Okay, one of our dishes, which is a uh, full artichoke which means fake artichoke. So the taste of the jackfruit when you braise it reminds you like a, like an artichoke. So it's very difficult to find it. Sometimes it's like a, out of the season. So sometimes it's very ripe. So this here, the price? $40. Forty dollars. Can I have, can I have one piece? I don't buy fish. No, I don't want fish. Next time. Next time, huh? We are uh, half an hour before the dinner service starts. So what we are doing now, it's like uh, we top up all our stations and we're doing like uh, the last minute uh, prep, which is gonna be specifically for uh, the dinner service tonight. So usually this, this squid, I marinate today for uh, tomorrow. One time containers. I believe inside in the kitchen it's like a, no, no one writing perfect. People who write in perfect is almost always the front of the house. The restaurant is already open. The first guest has arrived and waiting for the service to start. First order ready in. Second course, chickpea, corn arancini, and third course, one cavatelli. Chili flakes. We can sear it for a while. Like white. So now it's, it's ready to serve. Four pieces, one Brussels sprout, one cavatelli, one chicken. Now is the most uh, busiest time until uh, 8.30, 9 o'clock. Okay, can you just uh, clean it up with just give me the one paper? Oh, okay. Fire table 24, one meatball, one arancini, one calamari. Right, 
It's extremely hot. Please don't touch. Say to the guest. <laughs> very happy and very proud of uh, of the guys here. Everyone has has their own talent. Everyone is like a good, uh, like a really good team. They know they're having fun because they, they give the energy which they have. They give it to you. It's like they're having fun, and you are laughing without you know. Sometimes I'm laughing without understanding what they are saying. <laughs> I mean, the best part in my life, it's many times, you know, feel proud. Many times you feel like uh, down. It's not about like uh, winning something. For me, it's about like uh, being happy in the kitchen. You know, the best part of what really make me proud is like when the, when the guests calling me in the table and say, can I talk to the chef? Sometimes it can be surprised, you know. <laughs> Trust me. <laughs> Trust me, it's very nice. So now it's already 11 o'clock. The last order for the food and the dessert has already been done. So it's time to clean our, uh, our kitchen. Okay, so my uh, shift just has finished. The last things I'm doing before I leave the kitchen is to check if all the all the gas is over, it's closed and all the, the chillers are uh, fully functioned, it's working so we don't have any issue tomorrow morning when we're coming. Gas closed, chiller working. If you tell me what was the, the perfect restaurant in which you like to work, I can tell you like this. Maybe I didn't win like a you know Michelin star or a best chef of the year or <laughs> not yet maybe maybe in the future. For me, the achievement is this like coming to my restaurant and living happy. This for me is very big achievement. And I'm not telling you because it's the camera. I'm telling you because really I believe really I believe this. Now we are ready to to close the light and to go home to rest. Tomorrow another day. I mean, like, do what makes you, make you happy. Don't do what gonna earn you more money. Because sometimes we go to the to the point, it's like we're doing something which we don't really like, but we're doing because we believe like uh, there we're gonna earn more money. It's like you're making your life sad.